uh, very good morning to you, all of you. Uh, respected uh, Professor C.P. Agarwal, Head of the Department of Computer Science and Applications. Professor Sunita Duveti, who is coordinating this program. Professor Mahesh Shuriji, who is also the Director of ASI. Dr. Manoj Pacharya, uh, Dr. Ravi, uh, Devesh Ji, <laughs> and all esteemed faculty members, technical team, uh, participants, uh, students, uh, scholars, who have all assembled here today. Uh, so this is a very serious subject, cyber security. And uh, but I'm really glad that, you know, not because I have come, it could have been anybody else, that the AICT in its wisdom and the government in its wisdom, even as part of the national education policy, has decided to include life skill management as an inter integral part of all the courses. I think this is very important. I think this part of the interdisciplinary approach uh, towards education that this government has taken and which finds reflection in the national education policy 2020. Because often we tend to see life through a very narrow prism. Often we tend to look at life through our own tinted glasses. Perhaps this is one opportunity when we all come together do some introspection, even when we are dealing with cyber security. But the issue is, the topic is life skill management. Can there be anything more serious than life itself? Because that is what, what brings us all together on the same planet as human beings. You know? So that is one common link between all of us. We may be in different positions belonging to different countries, following different faiths, speaking different languages. But if it is one thing that unites us all, it is that life, which brings us all together. In my last uh, lesson on life spill, or uh, experiential life lessons, I told Professor Agarwal when he insisted that I speak. I think it is for the first time that, you know, somebody has made me speak. That credit goes to Professor Agarwal. <laughs> I consider certain things innately private. And uh, you know, uh, I generally avoid. But then, uh, I think it is the first time he made me speak on certain issues which I, you know, what has shaped me as a human being. And uh, I'm not a life coach. I'm not a guru spiritual guru. I am an ordinary human being who has, you know, come from a different circumstance like each one of us has come. And I don't know, materially, in terms of certain positions, I have achieved some small things here and there. But I thought that, you know, since this is more an academic platform and academically, you know, when you become a vice chancellor, you, you are believed or considered to have reached the zenith. So I don't consider it that important. But still, you know, I thought that let me share how I look at life. So from that perspective, I shared in my last lecture also, I am told, I hope that Professor Agarwal did not tell me to make me happy. <laughs> he always keeps everybody happy. <laughs> uh, but I hope that he says that some positive feedback has come. So that encouraged me to accept Sunita Ji when she came and said that you have to take one session. I thought that I'll share some thoughts uh, with all of you today. Uh, and let me begin with a small incident which happened two days back. I believe that I, as I said, I 
consider myself a student throughout, a student of life. Every day I am learning some lessons. I learn my lessons 24 into 7 into 365. I said in the last session that I, every day before going to bed, I keep my eyes shut and think about the whole day. I review the whole day. Like I review every program in the university. Every day of the program I review. Similarly, I review my day. Because that day is gone. Yesterday is a cancelled check. Tomorrow is a promissory note. Today is trash. How can I make the best of that today? That is only possible when I analyze my yesterday and plan my tomorrow. Two incidents in the last two days again made me think. Two days back, when we were having the orientation session that Professor Tivedi was referring to, suddenly everything collapsed. The power went off, the Zoom link collapsed, the Facebook Live collapsed, and I was giving instructions from the stage. I was on the stage. I was the dais. Within a few minutes, everything was restored. Subsequently, one of my young staff members came and met me. Said that, sir, we have seen earlier also things happening, but we saw that you did not lose your temper. You were not angry. You did not shout. You were pretty calm. Why? How? How can you do that? When we... And you could have fired everybody there. Six people were trying to manage. Nobody was able to manage. You could have, you know, scolded all of them. I asked him, how does it? They will get into a panic mode and the vice chancellor starts publicly abusing them. Will that help in any way? But when they know that I'm giving them support, I'm giving them ideas, you bring this, now you bring a, uh, you know, uh, charger, you bring a USB, yeah, UPS, you know, you bring uh, these things. So I'm trying to help them in that situation rather than putting them into a panic situation. So he went a little deep and asked me, sir, how does that happen? I said that it happens when you are detached. It may sound a little different, I mean difficult. Bhagavad Gita has this very beautiful word, term, Stita Pradya. I don't think that many people say that, you know, Bhagavad Gita, many things are easier said. So whenever somebody dies, you have a Gita part, you know. So all those things, you know, life is like this. And then you have something called Shamshan Vera. You know, at that time you feel this is, oh, life has no meaning. And once you are coming out of the cremation ground, uh, you start hitting the fellow who has parked the car uh, opposite your car. So that is that short lived. But Sthit Pragya is a sthiti which Bhagavad Gita says that, you know, is the ideal situation that everybody should possess. In my life, I have tried to, I have tried, and it's my constant effort in my spiritual quest. I am not into deep into meditation and uh, all that, you know. But in my life, I keep constantly making this effort because I have experienced that that still pre situation makes life a lot easier. And if anybody asks me, what is it that, you know, even in the most difficult times, we see you smiling. My friends tell me we are yet to see any photograph with a frown on your face. We have searched all over the net, all over the, but always there is a smile, even at 
night. After a hard day's work, we find that. How does it happen? I say it happens because I try to be Sthita Pradhyaya, which is, you are not very immediately, I won't say I'm not at all, I'm a human being. But I'm, I don't immediately get swayed by developments. It doesn't impact me, you know, either happiness or sadness or anger or hatred. It doesn't immediately come. Somebody says, so this is, this is what he said at all. I just say, you know, I don't immediately react to situations. To me, that is being the different. I don't immediately, oh, you know, shout back and all that. No. I patiently, you know, listen. And I think that this helps a lot. Because often, it is our reactions that create problems for us in life. How do we react to a situation? You know? Because when you believe, when you believe that what you are destined to get, nobody can snatch it away from you. And howsoever hard you may try, if it is not destined, you will not get it then life becomes more <coughs> So, it really does not impact me much if somebody... So, what is it? It is not being indifferent. That is a fundamental difference we need to understand. It is being detached. <laughs> now, does it mean that I have become a saint? No. I love the good things of life. People who are on social media with me, Instagram, <coughs> Facebook, I share good food. I love good food. I love traveling. I love adventures. I've walked under the sea. I've enjoyed all this. Yes, I do it along with my work because I enjoy my work. It's as simple. I don't, you know, there is something called, some people say that work-life balance. I somehow don't agree with this term because work is an integral part of life. How can you divide work as separate and life as Can there be life without work? Karma, I am a karma yogi. And for me, I cannot think. It is inconceivable. When there are three, four days continuous leave, I ask my staff, what will I do? Three days. And when there are continuous three days leave over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, I have made it a rule that I come on Friday at least. If it is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I come on the Monday. I say that no, Saturday, Sunday is good enough. I can't be just sitting at home. How long can you, how many, how many films can you watch? How many times can you go to the market and bring vegetables? How much of WhatsApp and video calls can you... I mean, you need to work. Nothing gives me more... You, some people call me workaholic. Dr. Sunita Devi uh, say that I work for 14 hours a day. I'm not working. I'm enjoying. I don't consider it separate. If I don't do that, I will feel it. If I don't work, you know, at home, they say that, you know, if he doesn't work, he will fall sick. He will fall sick. Please let him work. So, my doctor friends never advise me to rest. They say, please work. You will be okay. <laughs> because that is the mantra I always did. When I lost my parents in a gap of six months, and I was at, I would say, I just started working. I was down for a few days. I said, what is happening here? And I said, what am I doing? Just let me concentrate all my energies on my work. And believe me, it was pure magic. I got so involved in work that the death of my parents stopped haunting me. 
And by the end of the day, I was so tired. I used to get so exhausted that I would just hit the bed and sleep. And that somehow got me addicted to work. Because when I'm enjoying work, it's not a pain. It's not something that I need to look at the watch. Oh, when is my work ending? This is my life. So I'm enjoying. If I don't do that, then I think that I will be in trouble. So that sense of detachment comes. I, as I said, that I enjoy these things. But suppose I don't get it. Believe me, it does not matter. It will not matter. I can do with very simple food also for months together. I can do without any party for months together. I will, there will not be any craving inside me. That no, I need to go for this. Oh, it's been long. Oh, it's two months. My family is in Delhi and I'm here. I've not met them. No issues. But when I get the opportunity, I'll go. I'm currently, I'm doing a work and I'm totally engaged with then that they don't come in the picture, you know. In the evening, once I reach home, I call them on video and talk to them. That's it. And that's enough for me. So it really does not, so that sense of, and when I'm with them, I go out, I, uh, you know, travel, we travel to different places. Even if it is just a couple of days, we enjoy, we watch movies together. And that's it. Next day I pack up and leave. I don't carry my tensions home. I lock them in the drawer and go. I don't take it to my bed. If there are problems, obviously there, if I am leading an institution, there will be administrative, human relation related, human resources related problems, there will always be there. So, but I don't carry them to my bed. You know, once I'm over with it, finish my work at 8 o'clock or 8.30, that's it. Then I <coughs> am in a different mood. Now, this is something that, that sense of detachment. If that attachment is there, that office will continue to haunt you even at night. Oh, my colleague, why did she say that? Why did he behave like that to me? You know, that will keep me. Oh, I should have got that promotion. Why did the boss praise him and not me? You know, these issues keep continuing all the time. But once you switch it off, that is that switching off is the detachment. You know, I'm not attached to this. I have been to so many work in so many organizations. Once I have come out of that organization, I have never looked back. When I was the, the, the dad, I was the director general at Indian Institute of Mass Communication. I took it to a new level altogether. I turned it into a deemed to be university. I established all its campuses, brand new buildings. When the buildings were almost on the verge of inauguration, I designed even the gate. But the building does not bear my foundations, my, my you know, inaugural, somebody else is going to do it. It really does not matter. I did my job and moved on. Now that sense, oh, what is happening there? <coughs> now that building was designed me, but somebody else is inaugurating it. It really does not, you know, matter to me. It, I did my job. That has given me immense satisfaction. That is that sense of, but there are people, believe me, who were still, you know, they may have left the institution several years back, but they are still bothered about what is happening in that institution. They keep a check, they keep asking people, what's happening? problem? I want to know. If when they come to know that there is a problem, then it gives them happiness. 
वाइक के लिए सुधर जाए वो प्रॉब्लम सो रहा है नहीं तो मैं तो ठीक हो गया सी खुशी हो रही है यू नो पीपल टेक इंटरेस्ट आई नो दैट आई लाफ एट इट दिस इज अटैचमेंट तो गया उसके बारे में क्या सोचता है वहां क्या हो रहा है इट इज नॉट ऑफ योर इट वाज नेवर इट डिड नॉट बिलोंग टू यू व्हाई डू वी स्टार्ट अप्रोप्रिएटिंग थिंग्स इट डिड नॉट बिलोंग टू यू कैन यू क्लेम इवन ओनरशिप ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन यू गिव बर्थ टू ओ माय गॉड देयर लाइफ इज डिफरेंट देयर लाइफ इज डिफरेंट इट डज नॉट बिलोंग टू यू यू कैन नॉट से दैट वो I produced you, so you will live this way. Can you tell your kids? No. They said, "Go to hell." The moment they are conceived, they are independent citizens. The more moment they are born, since conceived, yes, you are given a new life. Ah, oh. that new life has its own, you know, sanskars. it is it has its own background that soul has its own background once life has come into it it's independent how can you claim you know uh, ownership of that you are only a facilitator the moment you start considering yourself as the owner the problem is that we start having ownership of everything no then it starts giving problems are meri billi mujh par nahi aao अरे उसकी जिंदगी है भाई उसको जीने दो ना बट दैट इज दैट सेंस ऑफ व्हाट इज डिटैचमेंट गीता में सम पीपल मेक इट वेरी टफ इट्स नॉट एट ऑल टफ इट इज वंस यू रियलाइज दैट नो नो देयर इज नथिंग यार ठीक है आज ये 4 साल के लिए कुर्सी मिली है बस कितने आए कितने गए मैं भी आया हूं कोई अच्छा काम करके जाऊंगा तो लोग अच्छा यार नहीं करूं That is up to you. How do you look at it? Why are you so attached to that chair? No, that oh, this is my chair. Then people have a problem when they don't get an extension or things like that. Because your professional life is not just dependent on you. It depends on a lot more people. you may have done the best of your effort but your boss has not taken to it kindly acha bahut smart man hai apne aap ko bada pisna khan samajhta hai dekhte hain iska kaise promotion so all your work then did you do that work to get promotion or did you do it for your satisfaction that when i got that opportunity i worked i'm not doing it for promotion if i get promotion comes as a corollary great if i don't get it i did not do it for the problem is i do it for promotion the problem is i do it for extension the problem is i do it for more favors i am doing it for others when i am doing it for myself i don't get dejection at all the problem is when i do it for others if i am making food if i am making food that this is the way i prepare food i love making it i passionately make food but if it is that my child should feel oh what a great mama or what a great papa you know made such maybe the child doesn't like it at all you know when i go travel somewhere obviously there are many places where the family won't be able to come with you so you buy something why did you buy because it gives you satisfaction that you went abroad and you got something for your kid but sometimes you feel that when you show it to them with all happiness they come <laughs> you know they're not feel satisfied at all by what you have got it was not the color of their choice it was not the texture of their choice they did not feel good so you feel disappointed are you can at all search kar liye aur uske baad bhi khushi nahi hai chahiye tum unke liye nahi tum apne liye leke aaye bhai 
You got it because you wanted satisfaction. It gave you satisfaction. That is it. So that is sense of detachment. Why are you attaching everything to everybody? That takes care of a lot of problems. You know, I lived my younger days in a predominantly Punjabi dominated society. Most of my time I have lived in Delhi. There is a joke. The joke is that there is a fire. I'm sure there are some Punjabi friends in this among the participants also. <coughs> so the joke is that somebody goes and tells this Sardarji that Darji Darji so Dadi says he says he is typical response is Sanuki. Agalagi hai to Sanuki. To then this fellow says that Daji Daji to a car which a girl. He says to a now the Sanuki and Tuanuki <laughs> is often cited as an example of selfishness. <laughs> but this is ultimate selfishness. Manuki or Tuanuki. But I think that this is the perfect example of detachment. Anasakti. This is the perfect example of detachment. We keep bothering all the time about what others are thinking about. You know? But the concern is not that. And they get into so many things, so many complex things. Yeah, I did my duty. Whether to respond or not, what is his problem? And what others think is none of my problem. Sanubi. <laughs> but I keep bothering all the time. All the time I'm bothered. Because what others think? I did my what I wanted to do and move on. I gave this example in my last lecture also. I generally don't repeat. But this is related. About Bodhisattva. When along with the disciples, he was crossing the river. There was this young woman who was unable to cross the river. So he picked her up. Picked her up and uh, you know, cross the river. Those days bridges were not there. So you would cross wherever the river is shallow. So he crossed the river and kept the, the lady there and put her down and he kept walking. This disciple, one of his disciples became silent after that. So after one week, this man was constantly silent. So the saint got a little perturbed. He asked him, Baba, why are you silent? You are no more talking for the last one week. No, no, no. Guruji, I was thinking of something. Yes, 
what is bothering you my child he said that sir you have always advised that we should keep away from women but you carried that view so bodhi sattva said i carried that woman one week back and put her down after crossing the river but you are still continuing to carry her you are still carrying her in your mind i put her down but you are still carrying we often keep carrying things you know we don't put down things we kept kick usne me house the main set kiya wo ek kabhi bhaga nahi usne insert karke nikal bhi gaya wo bhul bhi gaya usko shayad pata bhi nahi chala hoga ki usne insert kiya aapne usko insert interpretation wo apna zindagi jee raha hai i gave another example of how a family friend he destroyed his life after he separated from his wife he ruined his life by all the time just drinking and drinking and drinking boozing and boozing and boozing but the lady got married had children she continued with her life you stopped your life became steady <clears throat> it became steady it started and when water becomes stagnant it starts breeding mosquitoes let it flow life let it flow you know and that is what brings me to this next incident which again made me to think and ponder that was the unfortunate demise of the chief of defense staff and that i was reading a, an episode today in which his uh, personal security officer ps he wanted to take premature voluntary retirement his family also so this pso also died along with the cds so the cds he had told the cds that sir i want to take retirement and the cds told him that 2024 mein to main khud retire hone ja raha hu as cds dono saath mein retire kar main bhi retire karu to tum bhi retire saath mein and it would have become a beautiful story the cds and his personal security officer retiring together but that was not to be life is so unpredictable so when life is so unpredictable why are we all the time planning and planning bothering concerned about our future what will happen 10 years later main abhi ye karunga 10 saal baad ye hoga 15 saal baad mera wo hoga almost half your time is spent planning for the future which is so unpredictable you do not know whether there is a tomorrow for you or not you do not know when you go to bed you are not sure whether next day morning you will wake up or not and when you wake up the first thing you should do is to be thankful to the almighty to say thank you god you have given me one more day you have allowed me to see the sun the glory of the sun the beauty of the stars to feel the fragrance of flowers you have given me one more day to see the beauty of the rainbow one more day in that life but what do we see when we get that one day are we looking at the glory of the god are we looking at the might of the sun are we looking at the beauty of the rainbow are we looking at the moisture that you see on the leaves and the plants or are we looking at ye parmash isne meri zindagi narak kar di looking at my neighbor 
बड़ी गाड़ी लेके आया है जरूर एक्सीडेंट हो रहा है How are you spending your day? Start looking at the good things of life. At the cost of repetition, I say, count your blessings. Keep counting your blessings. God has been so kind to you. I had the blues that I had no shoes until upon the street I met a man who had no feet. Am I looking at that? Let let me assure you when you look at that. I consider honestly why I smile. Let me tell you the secret today. The secret is that I feel blessed that He has given me so much that perhaps I did not even deserve. Whatever I have got is a bonus. When I look down at the street. When I see naked children, when I see children who go to bed hungry, I consider myself the most privileged person on earth. That He has given me that resources. What am I complaining about all the time? I did not get this promotion. I did not get this uh, facility. I did not get this. We are all the time complaining. Let us stop complaining. Let us look at all the positive things that life has done to us. We keep thinking about discrimination. I am being discriminated against on this ground, on that ground. No, you are able to walk on your two feet. Think about those who have been denied. The sight to see the most beautiful things on earth. Think about those who cannot, you know, run after their small children. Think about those who cannot pick up food with their hand. They have been discriminated against, not you. What is the discrimination that you face before the discrimination they face? What is the discrimination? You are fortunate, blessed. Be thankful, God. You have given me everything that a normal human being requires. I am not challenged in my everyday life, you know, to sit, to use the washroom. People struggle to do that, which, considers, which you consider so simple. You can go to bed and you get sleep. People don't sleep. They want to sleep. They are not getting sleep. They have got money. They have got bungalows. They have got cars, fleets of cars, but they don't get sleep. You get sleep. They die to take. They take sedatives. They take all these things, but they don't get sleep. You get sound sleep. Be grateful to God for that. You know? We don't value the small things of because we have got it. We have taken life for granted. We have taken life for granted. Oh! I get power supply. I get water supply. If the power is not there, the backup is there. You know? Look at places where there is no electricity. Children who have to light the candle to study. They don't have you know, if for one minute my data goes, I'm mad. You know, we shout, I am not getting the data. We're talking about data. They don't get two square meals a day. How much mad they should go? Imagine. They don't have a, a roof over their head. How much mad should they go? I smile because I'm privileged. I smile because I'm blessed. If in spite of getting all these things, if I'm still, 
you know, I have a thrown on my face. I'm still complaining. I'm still desperate. I'm still disgusted. Then the problem is not with anybody else, but with you. You have a problem. You have a problem. By me, everybody should be smiling. Everybody, we should all be smiling. Why not? I'm not talking about on those grounds that when you cry, you cry alone, when you laugh, the world laughs with you. Because then when you say that, then you are laughing to show somebody else. When you say, when I laugh, so that the world laughs with me, I am laughing to show the world. I can assure you, I am not smiling to make the world smile. I'm smiling because it comes from within me. It comes out of a sense of gratitude. It comes out of a sense of satisfaction. It comes out of a sense of happiness. It comes out of a sense that God has been kind to me. That you Everybody is struggling. People all have their problems. Who doesn't have? Who he is born has a problem. Ask the Ambani's, they have so many problems. You know, to deal with the governments, deal with the corporates, you know, deal with the employees. Every day problems are there. In big corporate gharanas, you have kids fighting for property. Superstar SRK son was in jail on a drug addict, on a drug consumption charge. Everybody is battling life in their own way. So having money doesn't mean that you know you are privileged, you are happy. So material goods cannot be the sole, you know, source of happiness. Cannot be the soul. I'm not saying that it has its own way of fulfilling certain material requirements. Yes, that is also required. But don't be attached. That is all. The attached is that tomorrow it is not there. So long as it is there, fine. I've got a car. I'm enjoying that car. Today I can afford to put the fuel in it. I can afford to get the, you know car service. So I am driving it. Tomorrow if it is not there, I am not able to afford it. Fair enough. I will take the metro. I will take the bus. No issue. Attachment is when I cannot live without that car. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know, I am all the time bothered about that car. That is when the problem I don't, you know, get attached to things. I don't have the sense of ownership that I am their owner. Yes, they are with me right now. The more they are not with me. Isn't that with our closest relatives or friends? Our closest friends may not be our closest friends tomorrow. Our parents, our kids, they may not be there with you all the time. Not necessarily death. They cannot be. Children might go and settle down in some other country. You may not be able to see them for years. Years together. You may get to see your nasty neighbor every day. But not your dearest children. So what are you attached to? So I think that, you know, to have 
So, anyway, I won't uh, take much time, but uh, you know, uh, I don't want it to be, uh, you know, you should not feel bored. Uh, the participants, uh, they have come for some enlightening session from some guru. But these are things which I have from my own experience, uh, you know, uh, honestly, I think that I have learned these lessons over a period of time. Uh, life has taught me these lessons. I have realized to them, uh, not by reading any book, believe me, I am not a great uh, reader of religious or spiritual texts. Uh, I. Whatever I say, even in public domain, my lectures are not based on great readings. I have read from that very big, huge, voluminous book called Life. Because there is so much in that. There is so much in that book. That every day you read, you learn something new. The moment you meet somebody new, then you are learning something. And there is so much to learn. So, I think it is important to have that wider vision of life. And it comes not just from reading, but also meeting a lot of people from diverse backgrounds listening to their stories. I try to interact with as many possible, as many people possible as I can. And I learn so many things from them that perhaps no book can teach me. You know, you meet all kinds of people. They have their own life stories. Stories of struggle, stories of success, stories of failures. And that is what, you know, you find that, that, I mean, you, it really, you know, surprises you that what all people put, you cannot imagine. And, uh, you know, Then you realize that, you know, that maybe you are a little more fortunate. You are a little more lucky. Otherwise, when we tend to meet only with people with problems, so you don't end up having solutions. You need to meet a lot of people who have found solutions also. Otherwise, all of them come, sit, abuse each other, their boss, their superior, officer. Then they go back after the evening. Next day again, they meet at the club, sit, abuse, go back. That becomes a routine. It becomes your, this habit becomes your prakriti, your nature. At sitting, abusing, complaining. Okay, let me keep doing my work. I will just conclude by this very small story. And that is, I used to have a, I mean, he's still a businessman friend. So, long time back, since long time back, I Now, his driver often would come because we used to be good friends. So, if there is something special prepared at his home, he will send across his driver with that special item. Or, or if he has traveled somewhere, he has brought some chocolates or something special, he would send it across. 
or if he has gone to some religious place, he will send some prasad. Tell the driver, "Saaf to ke gaya." So his driver would come. <coughs> and I have been seeing as a driver for the last, you know, more than two decades. But one day I don't know. He had come in the evening. I was asking him, "Or saaf, ठीक है?" He said, "Ji ji ji saaf, saaf ne bhi gaya." एक is really and that not organization individual personally personal driver personal servants that reminds me of another story so i will tell you that story right then so i said ki kya tumko kuch mila hai kya i asked him. just like that i was in a mood to talk i talk to everybody <laughs> said ki साहब पत्थर को भगवान माना है तो कभी तो प्रसाद मिलेगा वेरी सिंपल ऑर्डिनरी पर्सन हु हैज नॉट यू नो हु इज नॉट वेरी वेल एजुकेटेड थिंग्स लाइक साहब अगर पत्थर को भगवान माना है तो कभी तो प्रसाद मिलेगा रिसेंटली आई केम टू नो दैट after this covid thing my friends children were my friend used to run an iron foundry his children got into different businesses all together they were not interested in are iron foundry ki kaam hai they they went into different businesses some went into chimney some went into auto rickshaw manufacturing but he was so fond of this because he said that main jo kuch bhi banao is iron foundry se main shuru ho gaya you know lohe ke gate banwana aur wo that small time hai so then he said ki when his children refused to take can he papa bech de the beta bech raha hai but at the same time i cannot run it i am old to then he called his friend देख लेगा ही सर की जी सर देख लेना टूडे ही कैसा है सर की साहब मैंने कहा था ना प्रसाद सो ही फाइनली गॉट दिस सो this is that positive attitude towards life let me keep doing my work i found this story to be an epitome of what the gita has spoken about karmanya vadika raste mahapurusha that you know your duty is to keep working leave the fruit to him you know that should be the approach that we should in life and uh, a lot of stories keep coming to my mind it is important that we you know maintain long time relationships sometimes with the passage of time we also move on in the sense that some friends we feel that are no more you know as successful as i am. they are not worthy of my company anymore let me move on further i was watching an interview of salim khan sir salim khan is salman khan's part so in that interview salim khan was asked एक अच्छे इंसान की परिभाषा क्या है एंड ही गेव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आंसर व्हिच जनरली जनरली पीपल से 
लोगों के अंदर ये अच्छाई होनी चाहिए जो किसी का बुरा ना करे बट सलीम खान से मैं उसे अच्छा आदमी मानता हूं जिसके पुराने नौकर हो और पुराने दोस्त हो आमतौर पर एंड दैट ब्रिंग्स मी टू अनदर स्टोरी आई विल because i consider myself a story he says ki kai din baad lagta hai ki ab to hum higher level par pahunch gaye hai ye naukar is like and naukar means all employees and all that and you when you move on <coughs> and the other is old friends as i said and i used to be a struggler at that time this friend was okay now my company is elite and all that so it is no more worthy of my friendship it is only people who are grounded who maintain these relationships because being grounded helps because i have always believed and this is scientifically established science says and that is what newton also said the law of gravity everything that goes up has to come down one day so if your clock is at 12 today it will come down to 6 so jo cheez upar jata hai usko niche aana hi padega to aaj aaj is waqt aap 32000 feet ki unchai par aap you know pilot keeps telling you थोड़ी देर बाद दो घंटे बाद कर यार नीचे उतार <laughs> इतना ऊंचा ही पर हमेशा रह जाए मैंने वन फ्लाइट सेज दैट नाउ वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टच डाउन यू नो सो इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर टू ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस दैट यू नो वी हैव टू रिमेन ग्राउंडेड एंड द लास्ट स्टोरी इज अबाउट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी आई होप दैट मोर स्टोरीज डोंट कम टू this is when a father is about to retire a father is about to is a huge big businessman he decides to he dies next course he decides his son takes over and when he takes over he makes a new rule that all the servants in my home will be minimum graduate you know old old servants i talked about minimum graduate otherwise he will be chucked out and he chucked out everybody that included an old loyalist cook also who was only matriculate this is a story from europe so that matriculate is thrown out he says that i have served you all these years please retain me i make the best of food he said no 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 i don't need you i'll get some hotel management graduate you don't i don't need you go out he goes out sets up a small restaurant and that restaurant becomes successful and he sets up another restaurant and within a decade he has the restaurants all up across europe he becomes the owner of the leading chain of restaurants obviously then the media follows him and interviews him forbes and all this you know big business fortune so he is interviewed he is asked about his chain of hotels and all this. then sir Sir, 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 you are only a matriculate. With being a matriculate, you have achieved so much, sir. Just imagine if you were a graduate, what would you have been? He said, a cook. <laughs> <laughs> I would have continued as a cook. He would not have dismissed me, and I would have continued all my life 
as a cook if I was not terminated from service. So life sometimes gives you, you consider that, oh, this is a curse. But that could be a blessing in disguise. So don't be pessimistic. I will conclude with a, a small spiritual story. Because these stories keep motivating. Once a man reaches Vaikuntha, when do you reach Vaikuntha? The lotus feet of the God is when you, you know, go to the heavenly abode. He meets the Lord. So the Lord says, how are you? So he says, I'm upset. Said, what? No, I have struggled a lot in my life. He said, well, let me draw the picture for you. Let us see. So, he draws the picture of his life. And then it shows the path. You know? So, footprints of his life all along. So, right from childhood, there are two feet, you know, his own padachin footprints. And along with that, there are two other feet also. Do hamare or do or. Do bhi saath mein chalta hai. So he keeps looking at it. And then, there's a huge, there's a difficult period over which he has been creeping about, crying about. You know, life has struck. So then in that, he doesn't see. So then he asked the Lord, ye pehle do pair kiske hai? He said, ye tumhare pair hai? Tum chal ke aare ke na? He said, uske saath ye do pair bachpan se lekar mera pehda hai se lekar kiske hai? He said, ki, mere? Kya? Mein tumhare saath chal ra tha na? He said, haa, saath chal ra tha. Ye dekho, ye mera us umar ka ye phase hai. Ye sabse kathin phase ta mere life ka. उसमें सिर्फ मेरे दो पैर हैं मेरे ही दो पैर हैं तुम नहीं हो मेरे साथ और तुम कहते हो कि तुमने मेरा साथ दिया और ही स्माइल्स तेरे तो मुस्कुरा है क्योंकि वो तेरे नहीं है मेरे पैर हैं मैं तुझे गोद में उठा के चल रहा था बहुत अच्छा बहुत अच्छा बहुत अच्छा मैं तुम्हें उठा के चल रहा था वी ऑफन फॉरगेट कि उसे डिफिकल्ट पीरियड में भी वो हमें उठा के चल रहा है इमीडिएटली से अरे किसी ने साथ नहीं दिया क्या क्या यू नो सो इफ वी आर एबल टू कम आउट ऑफ द वर्स्ट सिचुएशंस इट इज बिकॉज समन हैज बीन कैरिंग अस ऑन देयर लैप ये हमें देखिए हमेशा याद रखना चाहिए एंड वेल लाइफ इज सच दैट वन कैन गो ऑन एंड ऑन बट दीस थिंग्स बहुत ज्यादा होना भी हमारे यहां एक कहावत है इट सेस दैट अधिक होने में अमृत भी विष होता है सो आई थॉट दैट सम थॉट्स आई थिंक आई हैव नॉट रिपीटेड मच ऑफ व्हाट आई सेड इन माय लास्ट सेशन but i have tried to share some of the philosophies which guide me in my personal life which has given me satisfaction happiness strength courage in my life i have tried to share those thoughts with you i hope that at least one or two episodes might have been of some interest to you but since this is on experiential life lessons and life skill management i thought that at least for the younger lot there could be some learning so i thought of sharing it with you i wish to thank once again professor cp agarwal and dr sunita divedi and their entire team 
for giving me this opportunity to share some of my thoughts on life. I have shared only what I have believed in and I live. I, I have lived these thoughts and I continue to live and I will continue to live these thoughts in future also. On that note, thank you everybody. Wish you all happiness, success in your life. And I'm sure that this cyber security FTP has been pushy. The, the conclusion is with an azan. So I think it should be good. <laughs> so on that note, thank you so much. God bless all. Thank you, Stan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.